Hit him with the show. Hit him with the show. <laughs> Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. It is time now for our Full Circle, where we take a moment to discuss a topic that is relevant to us and hopefully meaningful to you. And we thought our guest, Memphis, would uh, find this a very interesting nice. topic. We would love to get his perspective. So we want to talk about the difference between gold, G-O-L-D, diggers, and gold diggers, G-O-A-L. Mm. Well, according to the dictionary, it defines gold digger as a person who dates purely to extract money from them, and in particular, a woman who strives to marry a wealthy man. As mm, far that's... as the term for gold digger, we don't have a true definition, but our definition well, is someone who is reaching, who is trying to marry because of the goals that they want to attain. Am I getting that right? Well, that mm. the goals, the goal, well, let me just be clear. Okay. Uh -oh. <clears throat> Excuse me. And Miss Quad, please tag oh, in. I'm ready. Tag in. Oh, I'm, ready. I'm sitting on G waiting. Okay. I'm, 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 I'm just I'm just listening right quick. <laughs> Well, we had this discussion the other day, Ms. Quad and I, we were having lunch, because we frequently have lunch. Yes, mm -hmm. we do. And um, we're just very tired <laughs> of people saying, or men, making it seem as if women are, um, are terrible or bad for looking for a man who has something. Yes. Mm -hmm. Or looking for a man who has... Uh, who's financially stable, as well as emotionally stable, as well as um, uh, physically mm -hmm. stable. Mm -hmm. uh, why <laughs> is it that a man can demand and insist that we keep our bodies together, yes. that we are smart, that we are childbearing, all these million mm -hmm. things to, that we to, need to have. Don't forget being domestic now. Being, yeah. Let's cook and clean. Here we go. Cook Here we, 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 they want and a nasty. Stafford wife. What you talking about? Okay, hello, somebody. They want a Stafford wife. <laughs> nasty. But then, but then you get upset okay. at us <laughs> when we have, when our goal G-O-A-L is to find someone that is equally yoked, equally yes. on mm. our level, mm. which might mean you need to have a coin. Yes. You need to be emotionally and mentally stable. If mm -hmm. that's what we're bringing, why is it bad for us to seek out a man who has, mo if not what we have, more? Absolutely. Right. Mm. That's my question. Yeah, now that's real good, Selena. Mm -hmm. You're on the right track with that one. Thank oh, you, Ms. Oh, man. I'm going to step it up even more. Hold on. Come on, Come on with on. Now. Yes, go ahead. So, so let's now talk about goal, G-O-A-L. Why is it that a woman cannot have goals within her marriage? Yes. Meaning she may strive to do greater in her own career. Hello. Mm -hmm. yes. Hello? Mm -hmm. So why is it when she's like, okay, she's expanding her brand, she's, you know, doing other things, writing books, she's mm -hmm. on a speaking circuit. Mm -hmm. I mean, she is giving herself to the community. These are her goals, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Why must she diminish them within her marriage? Because mm -hmm. a strong woman makes a man, a lot of men, uncomfortable. And unfortunately, there shouldn't be room for her to build her empire as he's building his. At the end of the day, as y'all know, I'm bae, I'm building an empire. I'm doing things. And you will want a woman who is doing things. I find a mm -hmm. lot of men are like, I want a girl who's doing this and that. No, you don't. You really don't. Because when she's busy, she's not available to you in mm -hmm. the way that you need her to be. She can't, she can't have kids. Speaking this morning. Wait, she oh, can't she have kids. She's speaking Cook for this you, morning. wash your clothes, rub your feet, do this, 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 and have a whole job and bring something in the house. But what you doing? Exactly. Sir? Yeah. Well, yeah. So, 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 I, I, think, I think, I think, you know what? <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> Sit back on this <laughs> Wait a minute. You speak for the men right now. Come okay, on. Okay, uh, what I'm going to say is... You speak from your opinion. I think, I, you think what, I, think, I think it's beautiful when a woman has her own and she's doing her own things and to look at, it, look at a man. And she, should, she should be looking for someone with ambition and that, that's doing good, for, doing good for themselves. Mm -hmm. She doesn't... What she want to pick up a bond for. I don't right. Know, mm -hmm. You know, so I get it. So I get it. But why is it... And we see this a lot, especially within the African-American community. Why is she dubbed a gold digger? Mm -hmm. G-O-L-D. I think, I think, to me, gold, gold diggers, I think, I think that's like... It's, it's clear. I, it's, it's like she doesn't so, want you unless... So you are able to differentiate rather quickly. Yeah. yeah. I can tell if somebody has... We have chemistry and then she's like, you know, she likes money or she likes nice things. Mm -hmm. That's cool. But if she's like looking at me and she doesn't even see me and she's just... Oh, he does that. He How does that. He has thing? that. That's why I want him. That's a that's, that's gold. A gold. Mm -hmm. that's, what, what, she's digging for gold. Well, right. Well, yeah. well, what about this, Mickey? Yes. What about the woman who refuses to work at all? Mm -hmm. What about the woman who refuses to go and and, and 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 educate herself and you know matriculate through college or go uh, refuses to uh, become an entrepreneur? Like she really does not want to have a, a job okay. at all. The only job she has is to go out and find a man who can provide for her. That's, well, that's the only job. That's a goal for gold. Huh? Oh, goal for gold. Goal, goal for gold. That's deep. Mm. Yeah. Well what, well, what about this? Yes. What if I was raised to be a mother and a wife? Yes. Now, watch this. 
Let's say I do have an education. I, gr I graduated from high school. Okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe I went to trade school. Maybe I have an associate's degree. But what if I got married, okay? okay? I, because my goal, I mean, what I what I saw yeah. growing up yeah. in my family exactly. was uh, were women who were married with husbands taking care of their children and mm -hmm. their and their husbands. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. What if that is what she wants to do? What if she wants to be a mother mm -hmm. and a exactly. wife? Because let me let me be very clear. That is a job. That is, yes. full, exactly. that is a full-time full job, job within itself. And actually, I, 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 you, you almost want to go get a job right. so you don't have to <laughs> just be <laughs> a, a mother <laughs> and a wife because it is extremely demanding. But if a woman is in that predicament, she's considered a gold digger because she doesn't have a job. Mm. A job. Mm. I think uh, it's all about happy? perspective. Is right. she happy? Right. Well, it, it depends. Is her husband... Uh, Making her environment her and mm -hmm. happy, okay. or or her man making her environment happy. Yeah, is he fostering you know? an environment? Depending that on, that. I yeah, feel like depending it's, I feel on like what it's she's a mutual doing. decision between mm -hmm. in that relationship. Like mm -hmm. if, if the husband is cool, he's like that's mm -hmm. what my wife does. She's happy. That's what she grew up th thinking. Mm -hmm. That's what happy is to her. Yes, that's that's perspective. Yeah. 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 Everybody, everybody's happy. A is little bit of a spin on that too. We, I, I started talking about how we look at things in our community with African American women. Well, guess what? White women. They raise like that. Yeah, they're they raised like that. And their men, their men are like, no, I need to go out and get a great job yep. so I can take care of Sally and, and, and the kids. And the kids. My but God. then when he comes home, she also, she's the type to have dinner sitting there and the kids. Well, I, think, I, mean, well, I think we're getting into that's 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 let's, let's be careful not to get into to, to, to I'm just, No, I don't know nothing about that. I'm just saying. It, it usually make, comes we with, can't make yeah. blatant statements like blank, blank, blanket statements that all people Culture. are like that. Yeah, we got to make sure we got to be careful of that. Well, let's talk a little bit about your new music and your new Yes. Before we move on. Yes. 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 Go right ahead and tell us what's <laughs> going on. Well, you know what? I actually, I'm actually, yeah. We gonna get out. That was, was that getting a little rough? On no, no, no. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Yeah. 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 Right no, I, no, no. I didn't wasn't throwing shit. <laughs> no. Oh, okay, was I didn't catch about that. Your music. Yes. The music. Yes. <laughs> yes. Music wise, I'm still producing. I got uh, this new artist. Her name is Kat Clark. She's okay. out of California. Mm -hmm. uh, Twenty three years. 23 years old. Uh, there's this guy, Prince Hill. He's mm. out of New Jersey. Mm -hmm. So just things that I'm working on, going back, getting back to New York. I'm actually moving back to New York nice. um, mid this later this month or whatever. Just getting back in a good place with the music. Okay. I've been talking to um, Tony Gaskins. Okay. Uh, just yeah. like just life coaching. Like right. I, I saw Keep some stuff he was together. doing, mm -hmm. becoming a superhuman. How to think, how to manifest things, and uh, he's helping me kind of like write my first book, mm -hmm. nice. my, trip, my trip to New York, okay. kind of like the things that made me move to New York from Memphis, mm -hmm. right. M-Town. Uh -huh. And then I'll what you happened when I got to New York, past, present, future of my life, and just starting off and just becoming a new author. And mm -hmm. I feel That's like, good. You know, That's good. good. Yeah. Yes. Well, we thank you so much for joining thank us Thank you for here. having me, Circle yes. And your perspective, and make sure you check out Myth Hits on I'll... his social media platforms. <laughs> mm -hmm. We'd love to hear what you shade. have to say. <laughs> no, I didn't know shade. Send, send us out your thoughts on Assistant Circle TV on all of our social platforms.